What should you do if you don't want an inheritance? Hey, everybody, I'm Christopher Small. I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. If you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, what do you do if you don't want an inherit inheritance for whatever reason? Sometimes um, people just don't need the money, they don't want the money, they want it to go someplace else. Sometimes they don't want the hassle of dealing with the process. Whatever the, whatever the reason, if you don't want an inheritance, there are a couple of things that you can do. You have a couple of options. Option number one gives you, the person receiving the inheritance, the most flexibility and the most power, and that is to assign your interest to someone else. All right, how do you do that? There's a form called an assignment of interest, and you would basically fill that out, appoint or name the person that you want to assign your interest to. You would give that to the executor, to the um, trustee, maybe, which we'll talk about here in a second. And that essentially just directs the executor to give your inheritance to wherever you have directed it. Why would you do this? Sometimes there are also some tax implications. There may be like some Medicaid type of implications. Sometimes people don't want those assets to come into their possession because it can hurt their disability eligibility, some other program eligibility, stuff like that. So that's one way that you can do it. If there is a trust, however, the assignment is often not going to be an option. Every single trust that we create prevents people from assigning their interests to anybody else. The reason for that is because we don't want to create a trust today that gives something to someone in the future. They learn about it and then they go try to sell that future interest today. So for example, let's say you had a trust and you knew that when your grandfather died, you were going to get a million dollars. You don't want to wait for grandpa to die. So what you do is you go find somebody and you say, listen, if you give me 500K today, I will assign my interest in this million bucks. And then when grandpa dies, you're going to get the million bucks and I'm going to have already gotten the 500K from you. Trusts don't like that. So they prevent those things from happening. Okay. You may, you can sometimes have this in a will too, but it's definitely prevalent in a, in a trust. If that's the case, then you're not going to be able to assign your interest in the trust. Uh, by the way, there is also something called a, a special power of appointment that can allow you to do that inside of a trust. Okay. Often it's only to very specific people, but this is why it's important to a read your trust all the way through B have an attorney, take a look at it because the, that option might be available to you. If the person that created the trust wanted to allow you to assign your interest to specific people. Okay. All right. So what do you do if you can't assign it and you know, you still don't want it. The next step would be to do something called disclaim your interest in the trust or in the, in the inheritance. If you disclaim your interest, then you are treated as if you died before the person that died that is giving you the inheritance. Okay. So if grandpa died in 2024 and you don't want the inheritance, you file a disclaimer and everybody acts like you died in 2020. Okay. So what they do then is they, they look to the will, they look to the trust and they say, okay, if you were gone, where does the trust or the will say everything was supposed to go? And that's where it goes. Okay. If there is no will, if there is no trust and you disclaim your interest, then it will go wherever the state law says it should go typically to your kids, but it can be different uh, depending on your family situation. The reason that this is less desirable is because you don't get to pick. For example, uh, I was just talking to someone that wanted to have their share of an inheritance go to a specific child, not to all the children. There is no will. So if they disclaim, they are not going to be able to accomplish that goal. If they disclaim, then the executor is going to be required to split the distribution amongst uh, this person's children. All right, that's it. So if you don't want an inheritance, there's a couple different things you could do. Definitely talk to an attorney to make sure that you're doing the right thing to make sure that you understand exactly what you're doing and what you're giving up. And uh, good luck if you want to do that. Okay. If you uh, enjoyed this video and you want more, hit the subscribe button, hit the follow button, hit whatever it is, the, the like button. Okay. Comment questions. I'll answer them all. And if you have questions about estate planning or probate in particular, and you want some help from us, you can go to cmslawfirm.com and you can get that help. Okay. That is it for today. I am Christopher Small. I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Appreciate you. And I will talk to you again soon.
See ya.